Hey guys! I'm now in Frankfurt with Peter Degenfeld Schoenbuch and I'm trying my best to pronounce his surname right here and I'm, I mean it's like a torture. Did I do it yeah, right? Okay, good. good. <laughs> so, uh, Beyond the Bridge released their album in 2012 and they're doing really well. So I came this far to see them tonight and to talk to the guys and he was so nice to talk to me today. How are you doing, Peter? I'm fine, thank you. Good. So, um, I mean, let me ask this question first. Mm -hmm. Have you ever imagined yourself being this successful? I mean, you're coming out with um, with a debut album and it's really, really successful in the progressive scene. How do you feel now? Well, uh, thank you. I don't, I don't know whether if it's really successful, but I'm absolutely happy with the the stage where we are in, and. Uh, well, you asked if I have ever imagined mm -hmm. that we will make it this far. Um, probably not. I have not imagined it, but I have always tried. So it's the thing I tried for the last 10 years or the last 15 years. Let's talk about that because you were actually Fallout and then as a band. Yes. And then you took a kind of hiatus and then you grew into something else. You came back with a band called Beyond the Bridge and you right. released this album. So what happened in between? Well, so, so many people ask about Fallout, but it's really... I don't know why we even put it into public, because it's really not important. It was just mm. a school band. I mean, I was 16 years old or 15. I, I needed to, to learn the, to play the guitar and, and, and I just started to play in the band. And back then we called it Fallout, but it's nothing important for the history of Beyond the Bridge. The only thing that is important is that in Fallout, the three of us Dominic, Christopher and I mm -hmm. have been present. So we mm -hmm. started as the three of us and we stick together. Mm -hmm. so. so two more questions about the release, then I want to go move on to band and the concept. Mm -hmm. First, are you happy with the reaction you're getting? And then how did your life change after the release? Well, the first question, we're absolutely happy with mm -hmm. the reactions because it seems that most people like it. Mm -hmm. Some people say it's even like perfect for them. Mm -hmm. Some people find little things, which is totally, mm -hmm. I mean, it's even correct sometimes. It's, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, the funniest how, how did they contact you? Are, are you talking about the fans? Yeah, I mean about the fans and about the reviews. reviews. So, so the fans, sometimes the fans write comments on Facebook or on YouTube, mm -hmm. which is awesome. Mm -hmm. Even on Amazon they write, which is great. Mm -hmm. And then of course we I mean, I just like to do to sit down and, and, and Google Beyond the Bridge and see what happens. So you find a lot of... And every day new things, right? Well, yeah, not Brilliant. every day, but yeah, it's, it's, it's still, it's coming. Mm -hmm. So it's cool. The, actually, I wanted to say something, it's a funny fact, because in mm -hmm. Germany there are like two big magazines, the Metal Hammer magazine mm -hmm. and the Hard Rock, no, the Rock Hard, Rock Hard magazine. And the Rock Hard magazine, it wasn't quite that good. I mean, they said that that we were talented bad and everything, but they compared us with uh, Walt Disney. Oh! And, uh, because we... Uh, Walt Disney? We, I mean, we thought that it's funny to compare us with Walt Disney. So, and, um, did, did he justify his remark? I mean, why? Yeah, because he says that, that our two singers are like, like you know, the, the, the singing parts where they like, almost like fell in love with each other. For him it sounds like... In a musical, in like well, we thing. respect people's views, but yes. you know my view and my author's view, yeah. RJ's, yeah. right? RJ's. You're loving it, right? Um, okay, so I, I can understand that you, Fallout is not the initial band; it's no. something else. But mm -hmm. still, uh, Christopher and uh, Fabian. No, Christopher, Dominic, and Christopher and Dominic were with you. Yes. So. Um, in between these uh, two bands, mm -hmm. what were these members doing and, um, you know, what paths did they take, right. how you right here? Right, I mean, so, so every one of us took like a totally different path uh -huh. and the problem was in totally different cities. Okay. So we did not meet and rehearse. Okay. All we did is we said, okay, let's, let's write an album because Christopher was going for um, a study of music production. Mm -hmm. So we knew, okay, this guy goes to university for the next five years, but when he's done, he will work in the studio. Wow. So we figured, okay, so that's all we need, apart from writing an album. 
So we didn't rehearse, we didn't do anything like a normal band. We just sat down and composed the album, recorded it like somehow, just you know, write down the music instead of writing it down, recorded it, and then we went into professional studio. Mm -hmm. So that was the plan, and that's why it took <coughs> us that long because we had to wait for Christopher's studies. Okay. At the end, it wasn't Christopher who produced us, but it was Simon. Mm -hmm. Simon was the best friend of Christopher mm -hmm. during the study. So the plan wow. worked out quite well. Okay, and you were discouraged because he was away for five years. No, no, no. Good, no, good. No. So Simon got involved, and I think he brought Herbie and uh, Fabian on That's board. That's right. Okay. That is right. right. And then, and then, what happens? How did you um, uh, find the other members? Right. Did you have the concept back then? The lyrics yes. was everything. Were everything ready? Right. The concept was actually the first first thing because uh -huh. so the concept was directly after school so how old were you when you came up with this concept? well um, I was 19 that's so interesting I mean the fans who have got an idea about the concept will yeah. understand this question because it's about an old man who's about to die right and a spirit which is kind of trying to well do things I, I don't want to spoil it for the fans but um, basically it's it's interesting that a 19 year old is coming up with a thing like that. What I first thought was, um, it's kind of risky to go out with a concept like this because um, it's easy to to uh, appeal to the old men because they can relate to the concept. But when you look at the people who are, let's say, younger than 30, yes. they might not, they might understand the, the, the concept of course, but it's it must be hard to relate to it. But then I'm thinking that it's you, it's your 19 year old self who wrote this concept, yes, who yes. came up with this. Yes. So what have you got to tell me? I mean, I find it really interesting. And I mean, I have to say this, your intellectual level is really hard. Thank you. So yeah, tell me, why did you come up, how, how come did you come up with this concept? So. So at the age of 19, I was about to, you know, start my life. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering, do I want to be more like the old man or do I want to be more like the spirit? <laughs> so, so of course I was young, but I wanted to put the old man there because I was questioning myself. Do I want to live my life in a way that I collect a lot of experiences, I, you know, try to live as good as possible? Mm -hmm. Or do I want to live my life by studying? nature because I studied physics mm -hmm. so I went for the road of the spirit and I you're said, still doing your PhD I'm right now doing my PhD in physics that's true yes in quantum optics so because that's what what I I mean I so there's to, still a choice then music well, or there physics is still, it's still it's still a choice yes okay. there is still a, or there is both in my life like okay bo a bit both yes mm -hmm. so then I do wish you either go with both or choose music <laughs> well uh, I don't think that you're leaving us no, no, I, I will keep on playing music for Brilliant. Sure. Yes. Um, some of the bands have jazz influence in their training. That's true. And some have experiences in different aspects of music, like producing and stuff. So do you think you've been utilizing this diversity in the band? Yes, yes. I mean, first of all, of course, like, without Simon, who is the producer and who has this huge experience, we couldn't do this. I mean, in, in the band, there are like many professionals. Like Christopher is recording music and writing music almost every day, more into the, in, in the classical business. But still, I mean, he's recording it and writing, so he has all the know-how. And the same for Simon. Simon is not that much of a producer, but a uh, composer. But he is mm -hmm. a really good producer. Oh, yeah, I mean, he exactly. produced Epica and. I mean, he didn't produce them, but he worked with, together with Sasha Pet, who is the mm -hmm. producer. But he but produced the album, right? He produced our album, mm -hmm. so that's his first production. That's his. Uh, <gasps> really? Start but I know that he's also working with Epica, with yes, Asia, yes. Camelot. So right? he's recording them and mixing them, but you know the producer. How old is he? He's now 27 or 28. I made my point. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, what you came on. With is absolutely amazing. So you think you're being also Delania has jazz. Yes, Delania has a has a lot of jazz, jazz influences. Mm -hmm. True. I mean, she actually considers herself as a jazz singer. Okay. So that's 
really important for him. How did you find her? Because I think he, she was the last one who came on board, right? Or Herbie? Or maybe Herbie. Yeah. Okay. But finding Herbie and finding Fabian was easy because mm -hmm. Fabian was a friend of, of Simon. Simon. And Herbie, you know, he, he sings a lot for the bands in the gate studio because he lives in Wolfsburg. So when Epica needs a singer for the choir and Herbie's in, like, mm -hmm. like that. So Simon meets him a lot and then said he's a good singer, do you want to join us? And also Herbie sings like with Sinbreed, mm -hmm. a band where the drummer is from Blind Guardian. So, you know, we're yes. somehow... He is in the uh, industry. He's, he is in the business, yes. yes. He is in the business. And um, so Delenia I, I met in a bar, so that was kind of lucky. It was, no way! Yeah, yeah. Back then. So what did you what did you do? Did you just approach her and would you sing on my album? <laughs> yeah, that was not that easy to be okay. honest. Because I mean, she has just been singing some jazz, okay. which I am not so much into. So. I, so it was your decision. I mean, you listened to her listened and you thought that it would be nice to have her on exactly. the album. Okay. So I listened to. I mean, it, it, we were looking for a singer, so it was just it was just coincidence that. Okay, let's it was talk me, about. I didn't decide, like everyone wanted Yeah, I mean, yeah, okay. <laughs> well, I, ca I can't, kind of thought that you were the leader, but you wouldn't accept it. I, I'm not gonna say that then. No, I'm just doing a lot of interviews. You're just doing <laughs> a lot, you're just doing, coming up with the uh, concept, writing the lyrics with Christopher, doing the management stuff, and okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, I mean, no, no, no. I wouldn't just say kidding, that I'm just the kidding, just because kidding. I mean, musically, Christopher has a huge part. Yeah, and lyrically as well, right? Lyrically, lyrically. as well, um, and and and. Just teasing you. So. No worries. So let's okay, Delania. I'm gonna come to Delania, but um, first Herbie. Mm -hmm. So when I listen to the album, mm -hmm. I am really impressed by both vocals, Herbie. He's not only hitting every note, but he's hit, also hitting every emotion, and it really gets me. So uh, the question is: so same with the same with Delania. Um, her singing is kind of sounds like tailor made for the spirit because we know that actually she is a temptress, and uh, she's not a benevolent character, right? Mm -hmm. And is that why how she sounds so? And did you do that? I mean, did you walk them through the concept and actually dictate them how to sing? And how when did that happen? Because I know that they came on board really late. So did that happen during the post uh, production stage? Sorry. Not yes. Yes. So it happened in the studio. Okay. So we gave them the lyrics and uh -huh. the melodies. Uh -huh. Because we recorded the melodies, Christopher always played like weird instruments like pan flutes. Okay. <laughs> to show that this is the voice. So melody, you, you did your melody. voice, but uh, flute. yeah. Okay. Uh, actually, for for some songs, uh, Simon and Christopher. Can said, I hear? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No way. <laughs> okay. No, way. no um, but anyway, so so um, for Herbie, I wasn't in the studio. I trusted Simon there. I mean, Simon knew the concept. Simon did the production, and Simon told Herbie, look. This is the emotion. Uh -huh. Try to get it, but we didn't. We never dictated them. So okay. we just told them that's the emotion we, sh we should try to. Yeah. Okay. To, well, to you bring, cannot bring, dictate bring them. The yeah. You cannot dictate. No, them. No, 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 no. It wouldn't work. It would not work. But it. I mean, it, it seems that they got it. Right. Right. I mean, right. It comes through. Yes. Yes. Definitely. But I mean, and then with Delenia, I was also in the studio, and I remember we did things like didn't the light and. She opened her hair, and then we said, "Okay, now I'll try to be, you know, tempting." Mm -hmm. So, so we, we tried to ah, push it in that direction. Okay. How did she feel when she first heard that she was acting this? I mean, playing this. Well, script? actually, that was the only reason why a jazz singer joined the metal band because ah. she she loved the album, she loved the concept, and the okay. composition and her role on her it. Her role. Brilliant. Right. Um. So when Herbie and Delania joined you guys, did mm -hmm. did they have a kind of an impact over the um, the final product? Yes. How? Like like just just as you asked earlier. So I mean, we it was kind of clear how the role, for example, of the spirit was, but it was not clear whether it's a female or a male singer. Mm. And mm -hmm. then. Like things like oh we got Delenia and oh her voice can be used to sound tempting and so mm -hmm. 
So we try to, you know, before we go into the studio, we try to figure out everything and make mm -hmm. a plan, but some things we just couldn't plan. And that was actually the most, most fun, mm -hmm. that something worked out. Like, mm -hmm. like without expectations, we went into the studio and somehow it just worked. So that was a great feeling. It's not only um, tempting, it's sometimes, Delenia sometimes sounds lack of emotion, passion. Right. So you can understand that she, she's not a human. So it's some, this is something you try to convey to the, right. to the fans, right? Wow. My dear friend and lovely author RJ wrote your review yes. and he helped me with some of the interview questions. Mm -hmm. And I want to read you one of those, okay? Sure. So just, I call. Uh, what can we expect from Beyond the Bridge in the future? A San Francisco show, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, so he really wants you to see that. So he is in San Francisco. He is in San Francisco. But see? next month you're going to Atlanta for Pro Power, right? Right, right. Good. So did they contact you? Or yes, yes, that was, that was kind of lucky. Brilliant. I mean, that's a huge festival. Well, it was kind of lucky because, because mm. Herbie is singing there with Cindy. So, and I, as soon as I... I figured ah, that out. I contacted the them okay. and said, "Look, Herbie's already there. <laughs> he and just here you come. Fly six people, right? And they're excited about that. A lot yeah. of people are excited to see you guys, and uh, they're lucky because not all the European bands are going all the way right. to, you know, the US. Yes, so it's mean. good for everyone. I'm just jealous that I won't be there. I was planning to, but I, I can't do it." Uh, so, speaking about the future, mm -hmm. how does it look like then? Are you working on a second album now? Well, unfortunately, we didn't start working. No. Mm -hmm. No. I mean, we work. But there will be one. There will be one, yes. Okay. But uh, the proc power like took a lot of energy and time away. So. I can see. And also, we wanted to play live, and it's not that easy with this music. But it won't be like what happened between Fallout and Beyond the Bridge. You no, won't, won't make us wait that no, long. No. No, we don't need to because, okay. you know, right now we, we have together. a step into this business. Okay. Like back then we, we had no clue, so it took us a while. Do you think it's like priority for everyone in the band, beyond the bridge? Because I know that they're doing some other stuff too. Well, the problem is you cannot live from beyond the bridge, so unfortunately life forces you to have different priorities. I know, I know. That's the problem, and everyone has to fulfill their priorities first. Well, I'm not talking about, you know, families and stuff, but... Um, you mean music? Yeah. Well, for the most of us, it's... The I'm, not, I'm not telling you to leave your wife and do your music only. Just, you know, because some, some, bands are, some members are in other bands, different bands, right? Right, right? So, do you think they will be pursuing this? Oh, yes. We okay. Are. So That's, we... Well, so if that's the question, yes. the seven of us will Great. stick for the next album. Do you think it will be a concept album? Yeah, I think it will be a concept album. Do you think it will be you who will come up with no, the concept this time, again? I don't know. I mean, Anyone can. Anyone can. Okay. And I don't know if I want to have this kind of philosophical concept again. Mm -hmm. Maybe I want to have something more, more with something which sticks more to life. I don't know. We will see. Okay. Um, well, I was hoping to get some clues, but okay. <laughs> um, just two more questions. Yes. Um, who are your influences? My influences? Yeah, individually and as a band. Okay. Well, the question, I mean, influences for the music. Okay, so a lot of things I can say okay. because the people are so different in this band. They have a lot of different influences. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, in, well, in, the, you know, I'm talking about the product. The product. So for the product, of course, like like there's Dream Theater, because I'm, I remember Christopher and me and then Dominic also. We actually we grew up with progressive music introduced by Dream Theater. So of course, my father like I'm showed so me. I'm so happy now. <laughs> showed me bands like Jeff Rotal and, yeah. and and Yes and Rush and so on, but. The modern prog metal stuff was introduced to us by Dream Theater. That, mm -hmm. that is true. Yes. Mm -hmm. I will be interviewing Ian Anderson 
in, you will. In, in, in two weeks, so I, I will mention this to him. So you can say hi to him, I met him in Montreal. Def I will, definitely. I met him for a short time in Montreal. Really? Just giving a good, good. Oh, def I, will, I will do that. So one last question, it's a really serious one. Okay. Did, you, did you leave the, um, the first man's name because of this famous game, Fallout? <laughs> no. No, no okay. No. No, we left it, I mean, I felt that we have to leave it first of all because we, we were doing something different. We had new band members and, and so on. But in Germany, sometimes when we played a show with many other bands and they read on the venue, Fall, Fall Out is playing, ah. they somehow thought Fall Out, like when you translate it to German, means it's, it's cancelled. <laughs> So they thought the band was cancelled. Oh no! So that was the reason. So I figured, oh no, we have to change the name. They're, they're the Good show. one. Thank you so much, Peter. You are welcome. Thank you very taking much. Taking the time. Thank you. I'm looking for the show tonight. I'm looking to, to, forward okay. to it too. <laughs> okay, cheers. Thank you.